Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you in my first Blender tutorial how to model a fedora hat. Okay, this fedora hat started out as a cylinder, and I'm going to show you a few simple steps how you can convert a cylinder into a fedora hat. Okay, let's get right to it. First, let me start by erasing everything in the scene, and uh, I'm going to get rid of this default cube, just like it. Press X to delete it. Now the first thing we need to create is a cylinder. So I'm going to hit spacebar, add mesh, a cylinder. Now the default is uh, 32 vertices, so I'm going to change the figure to 8. All right. So 8 vertices, uh, leave the radius and depth the same. And I can say cap ends here and click OK. And now you have a cylinder. So revolve around, orbit around the cylinder okay, by middle mouse clicking. Okay, you notice that when I move my mouse, all right, it is uh, revolving in turntable style. Now if for beginners who are not sure what turntable style is, just move your cursor until it changes at the edge. Just click and drag and make sure you enable turntable. And for me, I prefer turntable uh, as opposed to the default trackball. And uh, I also like to turn on auto perspective and revolving around selection. So now I'm going to put this back. Okay, let's look at this cylinder. All right, right now we're in object mode. To go into edit mode, we can either go down to the bottom of this window here, click here, and go to edit mode, or I prefer just hitting the tab key. So we're going to do some modifications to this cylinder. Now, first of all, I want to subdivided by a couple of subdivisions so the command key to do that is control R or you can press K and use the loop cut all right and start to cut the center here use the roller button of your mouse to move up and down to specify the number of cuts I'm going to use two cuts so move your cursor until it hits one of the vertical edges and middle mouse click okay so you will just straight away cut Right now, we subdivided this uh, cylinder into three sections. Now, I'm going to switch over to face mode. So, you press Control Tab and select faces, or you can click on this uh, button here to go to face mode. So, I want to delete away half, okay, half of these faces. So, to do that, I'm just going to switch over to the front view by pressing 1 on your numpad. Press A to deselect all the faces. Press B to activate border select until you see the cross appears left mouse click and hold and drag and select the half the faces and just press X to delete the faces okay middle mouse click and drag to revolve and you should end up with a shape looking like this now I do not need the bottom faces so I'm gonna select these faces holding on to shift to add on selection and press X again to delete the faces now everyone should have a shape looking like this all right. right now I'm just going to flatten these faces a bit. I'm going to hit A and I'm going to press S to activate scale and I'm going to restrict it into Z axis by pressing Z. Okay, just move the cursor back and forth until it's about this size. Okay, I'm going to get out into object mode for a short while by hitting tab and then I'm going to add a modifier. Okay, make sure you add the editing button. So go to add modifier and select mirror okay where is the mirror okay, there's it okay the default is the x-axis so it's mirrored the x-axis for some of you if you created your you deleted your half in along the y-axis then you make sure you activate the y-axis I'm gonna turn on do clipping okay so that okay both scenes will be covered all right so I'm gonna go back into edit mode by hitting tab Okay, now I'm going to activate uh, the edge mode. So I can either click on this button, or my favorite would be to press Control Tab and then select edges. All right, I'm going to press A to deselect everything. Right mouse click, hold on to Shift, and add on to the selection of the bottom edge. Or the faster way would be to let me deselect this. I'll show you a favorite uh, method of selection of mine. Hold on to Alternate, right mouse click on the edge and you automatically detect the edge group. You can use this for faces and vertices as well. 
So right now the phases are selected. Press S to turn on scale. Okay, that's a mistake of mine. You should press E to press extrude first to extrude the edges. As you extrude and you move, you notice that the edges are moving all over the place. So just hit S and now you notice the edges are scaling outwards like this. So now you have the rim of the hat. So you can manually move. Okay, I'm going to manually move the edges. But before I do that, I'm going to switch over to vertex mode and start to move the vertices, pull it out a little bit more. Alright, to form the rim of the hat. So once I have that, I press Ctrl R to insert the edge loop along the rim here. Okay, middle mouse click to cut the edge loop. Okay, right mouse click to select this vertex. I'm going to pull this up vertically and then push it back in. Do the same for this one. I push it back in along the x-axis and then for the front I'm going to pull, push it down this direction on the z-direction okay maybe this one I'm going to pull it out a little bit more and pull it back in okay for the top part of the head I'm going to push this the center portion down you can select uh, groups of vertices here holding Pressing A to deselect first, press B to select the group of vertices, scale it down slightly and then push it in to create a taper. Press A to deselect, press B and then select group of vertices and push it in some 